it's happening in New York, New Jersey, or Long Island. Hear about it with Joe Piscopo. Mornings, 6 to 10 on AM 970. The Answer. Al Cassano was there September 11, 2001, former FDNY commissioner. Great guy. A great guy. A great New Yorker. A true hero. Sal, welcome back to the show, my friend. It's a tough morning for you, I know, but uh, we thank you for taking time to join us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Joe. How are you today? Good. Thank you for uh, the show and the remembrance uh, of all the people that we lost on that day. You know, Sal, it's funny you say that because we know each other well enough and Frankie sends his love, you know. It's like when we, when you and I talk and we're, and we're at the Tunnels of Towers or we're around, it's like when I open the microphone on this day, on September 11th, for these last uh, almost five years now, it's like I want to I want to do it for you and and for the FDNY for for the for the police for the first responders. I mean, what you did, and I don't think I could ever express, and I'm trying in my my awkward way here on the radio, Sal Casano, to say thank you for what you done. Now, the mayor is going to join us, uh, Commissioner Kirk will join us. But boy, what you went through, I mean, it, it this, this it was just second to none. How you were there? Could, could you just and again, I'm going to ask the mayor to do the same thing, Sal and Bernie to do the same thing. Walk us through what you went through because I don't want. Want the younger generation to forget Sal Cassano. Well, thank you, Joe. I appreciate that. On that on that morning, 17 years ago, uh, we were at headquarters and report of a plane hitting, a report of an explosion at the World Trade Center. And you know, we had chiefs around. We were talking about the night before what we were going to do during the next part of the day. And and naturally, when you hear that, you you know, you jump to your feet. Uh, you try to go in the operations center to see what's going on so that we can try to plan whatever the event is. And I, we heard an explosion at the World Trade Center. We hadn't known it was a plane at the time. But we uh, walked into the chief of the department's office, and you could see, you know, Pete Cancer, who was lost on that day. He was our highest. Uh, he was our leader, Pete, that day for sure. And we looked out across the uh, river, and you could see the World Trade Center. It was a bright, beautiful day, clear as a bell, blue sky. Yeah. And you, you see the plume of smoke and you know, I turned to uh, Pete XO and says, Mike, this is not an accident. Look at this beautiful sky. That plane did hit that building by accident. You knew, you and knew, you, know, you well, knew right off the bat, Sal. Well, we knew. It was just, it was just too nice a day. It was just too clear. There was no yeah, yeah. Well, today, like a day like today, you might say, well, plane sort of got misguided or misdirected. Yeah, yeah. But not on that day. Yeah. And yeah. then we responded, and we, and we went to work. And, uh, and I will tell you, Joe, I just spoke to a group uh, on Sunday at the World Trade Center, and the heroism that was displayed that day by not only the firefighters and the police officers and the Port Authority and, you know, a couple of FBI and Secret Service, our EMPs and paramedics, the civilians in that building. There, there are so many stories of heroism by the civilians in those buildings that a lot of people don't know about. And uh, it was a, a, day, a, a day to really honor the people of America, of New York City, and the way we responded to the attacks. We, uh, you know, you know you see our, our wounded, uh, seriously wounded, injured veterans on, at the Tunnel of the Towers, and we always tell them that you know, we were first in battle, but we handed that flag over to them, and 17 years later, they're still fighting this war, 17 years later. Yeah, the, what did we lose, like 182 more firefighters since yeah. September 11th? Well, we, had, we had our ceremony um, at headquarters on, thir- on Thursday, and uh, we, we added 19 uh, 18 more members to the wall uh, that are dedicated to the members that were lost due to their work at the World Trade Center. And now there's 182 names on that wall, and uh, and I'm sure that there's going to be a heck of a lot more uh, before this is done. And and you can see the grief on the and the sadness on the faces of the people, you know, the family members. And yeah. a young grandson was sitting in front of me uh, that was there to honor his grandfather. I mean, it's heartbreaking that 17 years later. We're still going to funerals. We, we buried a, a wonderful man on Staten Island last week, Jimmy Martinez, um, a superstar in the, in the job, and succumbed to his World Trade Center illness. And it just goes on and on and on. Every yeah. day we hear of a new case popping up. And Commissioner, this is our salute to Staten Island Month at the uh, at the uh, radio station. You know, and I know you're a Staten Islander, and they have a very moving memorial in St. George. Specifically, how hard hit was Staten Island, sir? Well, Staten, we lost the most firefighters that lived and worked uh, in Staten Island were lost that day. And, and we lost over 200, and I believe it was 80 people that lived on Staten Island. And it's, it's a, a, a memorial down at the uh, 
where the surgery is. It's called postcard. It's beautifully yeah. done. Family members go down there to reflect all the time. You always see flowers in the wall and post, mm-hmm. you know, and cards and math cards. And uh, Borough President Molinero started that uh, years ago, and the Borough President Otto has continued that tradition. And uh, and again, you see at night the families and, and the sadness uh, from their loved ones 17 years later. And Commissioner, I know you, you became fire commissioner in 2010, but you served in the FDNY uh, on September 11th. Exactly what was your role in the department at that time, Sal? I was a three-star chief citywide tour commander. Um, uh, I, over, I oversaw the first and third divisions in Manhattan as well, and uh, that, that was my area of responsibility. Uh, what, what, what the citywide did was we covered the fire duty for a 24-hour period, responded to any major incident. But on that day... It was all hands on deck, and uh, we yeah. all responded and did our job. Yeah, in, in the most stellar of fashions. And before we let you go, uh, Sal Casana, we have a whole generation of young people who have come of age without having a memory of September 11th. What do you tell your grandchildren about what happened that day, Sal? Well, they, they know. I mean, you know, my name has been out there, but what, what I try to tell people is there's so many people that responded that day probies, uh, people that nobody knows about, that we should never forget that day. This should, this should be taught in schools, Joe. Yeah. I mean, maybe, you know, in, in grade school, they might be a little young, but certainly uh, yes. in middle school and yes. up. My, grand, my grandchildren know because of their parents, and they tell them what happened that day and my role and the role of all people that we lost. So this should be taught in the schools. Uh, this should be taught. You know, they got crazy courses in college that I won't go into, but there certainly should be a course on what happened on September 11th let them see how people respond and the heroism that was displayed that day and what has been done since then by our military to keep us safe. Yes. It's the safest country in the world because of the great military that we have. You know, Sal, on a lighter note, we have a Chef Burke coming in at 8 o'clock. Some of the best cooks I've, I've ever seen have been in a firehouse, man. What, what sort of meals have you seen prepared? Well, Joe, I wasn't, I wasn't one of them, just to let you know. I wasn't one of those good cooks. <laughs> but some of those guys, they go shopping. Me and Frankie were talking. They go shopping, and they come back, and they are qu- quite astute at cuisine, yes? Well, uh, yes. You know what, Joe? I have to say, and the reason why is so much revolves around the kitchen, the firehouse, just like it revolves around your dining yeah. table at yeah. home. Yeah, yeah, That's where the camaraderie, the uh, brotherhood, uh, that's where it starts. So that's why it's such an important thing for people to sit down together, try to have a good meal, although as busy as it is today, Rarely do you sit down for dinner That's right. and, and get to go through it. But you come back and you sit down and, and you break bread and you bond. And, you know, you may be going through a fire. You may give your life in two hours or an hour in ten minutes or five minutes. So you make sure that in that kitchen you bond with the members. You, you may yeah. be going to what you call war. Yeah. Yeah, it's and, a, and that's why it's so important. I mean, it sounds it sounds great about good food, but it's really about the bonding that yeah. takes place in the kitchen. Great observation, Commissioner. We do that uh, every morning. We feel we gather around a virtual kitchen table on this program to decipher the craziness of the day. As, as how, we, 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 you know, it really is. As how, before we let you go, where are you going today? What's on your schedule, if I may ask? Well, I'm heading into the World Trade Center and, you know, attend the memorial service down there, and then we have a little bit of a service uh, at the museum. And uh, Fire Marshal Ryan Buka's family brings together all mm. members of the military and and fire department and fire marshals to honor his dad. So I'll go there, and then we have a ceremony at headquarters. And I will probably end up at Post Guards tonight uh, to finish up my night. Wow! Uh, God bless you, Sal. Thanks for your stellar service to the city of New York. God bless you, man. And thinking about Thank you, John. Well, thanks for. For never forgetting uh, yes, our first responders and our military. You are a big part of that. Uh, my honor, my privilege. Thank you, Commissioner. God bless, Sal. See you soon. I'll see you Thank out there. You, Joe. Have yeah. a good day. Bye-bye. Yes, sir. You too, Commissioner Sal Casano, former FDNY a commissioner and a true uh, hero, certainly of this city and of this country. Piscopo in the morning. Everybody knows this guy. No, everybody knows he can do a radio show. Joe Piscopo. Mornings, 6 to 10 on AM 970. The answer.